When I was a young girl growing up in Montana, I was always interested in science. In middle school, I read an article that sparked my curiosity about a new drug called Taxol, which was used to treat women with ovarian cancer. However, Taxol could only be made from the bark of the Pacific yew tree. This meant cutting down old growth forests, destroying not only those forests, but the creatures that lived in them. This was upsetting to me. I wondered, why couldn't Taxol just be made in a lab instead of being harvested from the forests? This issue really got me excited about chemistry and biology, and later in college, I was motivated to learn about cancer research and how drugs were made. During graduate school, I discovered a new field of research called pharmacogenetics. Pharmacogenetics is the study of how we can use a person's individual genetic makeup, or their DNA, to choose which drug is best for them. So if we think about a group of people in a room who all take the same drug, we know by our own experiences that not everyone in that room will respond the same way. Some people will do just fine and the drug will work just as it is supposed to. For others, that drug may not work at all. And for others still, that drug may produce very toxic side effects. The question is, will a person's genetic makeup help predict how they respond to medications. Let's take cancer for example. A doctor could use genetic information to choose the best drug to fight the cancer while hopefully minimizing the negative effects often observed with chemotherapy. Today, I am back home in Montana as a professor at the University of Montana as both a researcher and a teacher. My hope is that I can use my research in pharmacogenetics to improve human health. Together with our partners in tribal health of the Confederated Salish and Kootenai Tribes and with the Montana Cancer Institute, we are building respectful relationships between researchers and tribal communities to participate in pharmacogenetics research. This research may help tribal doctors choose the best medications for their patients based on an individual patient's unique genetic makeup. I hope that this work can help to address some of the health disparities experienced by tribal people, especially in the area of cancer. The cancer drug Taxol is now in fact made in a lab, and it is still used to treat women with cancer. The old growth forests no longer need to be harvested to make that drug. For me, the most exciting part of doing research is that I get to keep asking questions that continue to spark my curiosity, and I hope this research will help people live longer and healthier lives.